A very common trait that battle shonen stories share is the pursuit of strength. Characters need power to perpetuate the changes they want to make in society. Furthermore, a generally accepted notion within the realm of shonen stories is that if you have the power necessary to generate social change, it is your responsibility to use that strength to affect society how you see fit. So what exactly does that make Shigeo Kageyama, the protagonist of Mob Psycho 100 who desires a different kind of strength? Despite being one of the most powerful espers in all of Mob Psycho, Shigeo does not view his near unmatched psychic power as anything other than another one of his character traits. While most might covet his insane strength, Mob views it as nothing to brag about, simply something he was born with. Someone else born with such ridiculous power might view themselves as better or more important than others, for example, Toichiro Suzuki, the head of Claw, but Shigeo seeks out the strength to live a normal life without the use of psychic abilities. In that aspect, Mob Psycho 100 truly flips the shonen power trope on its head. And to that end, I do take issue with bland, socially inept protagonists who consistently arrive to save the day purely on their inexplicable special skill. In anime, and in life for that matter, oftentimes people are arbitrarily judged for their abilities. Physical strength, intellectual aptitude, social skills, inherent talents, value is placed on traits like these. So when Shigeo is born with nearly inexhaustible reserves of psychic abilities, but almost nothing else that society might deem valuable, what should he do? See first, Taruki Hanazawa. Another middle schooler blessed with similar abilities to Mob and cursed with comparable insecurities. I love Hanazawa as a character and for the dynamic he has with Mob as well. He represents what Shigeo could be if he chose to use his psychic abilities to make up for what he lacked. Hanazawa is the shadow leader of Black Vinegar Middle School, a seemingly perfect student with impeccable grades and athletic abilities who is generally liked by all the girls and feared or admired by his male peers. In short, he's everything Shigeo wants to be. The only difference between Mob and Hanazawa is the path they choose to take. While Hanazawa views his psychic power as something that puts him above his peers, Mob firmly rejects this ideal. How could he be better if he could only do the things other people could do with the help of psychic powers? As such, Mob pursues conventional forms of strength through normal avenues. He begins working on his physical fitness and tries harder to be better at socializing, making friends, and expressing his emotions. I think that this is probably the most important message Mob Psycho presents to the audience. Mob is weak and unable to run even a few minutes without collapsing. His looks plain and his social skills mediocre at best. Or, well, this is how he sees himself, whether or not it's true. But Mob Psycho is a series that believes in the willpower to be the person you want to be and encourages you to find strength in this willpower. Over the top psychic battles are only second hand to this true strength. Physical bodies can be trained, social skills can be practiced. The point is, we are not limited to what we're born with nor how society defines us. Generally, skills are things that you can be born with or things that you can learn and polish. Life is a journey and your circumstances are forged by how you use these things you are born with and how you polish the rough edges as well. Mob Psycho 100 to me says that the only person holding you back is you. And finding true strength is overcoming the limits you place on yourself. I think a huge reason for Mob Psycho 100's success as a series is this very realistic theme. Shigeo is undeniably a human, a real middle schooler suffering from anxieties about fitting in and making friends. Most see Shigeo as an awkward kid who is much less cool and functional than his younger brother Ritsu. And Mob can see these stereotypes. He sees how they define him, partly believing in them himself. Personally, I see a lot of the younger version of me in Mob. His struggle to fit in and find things about himself that he likes really hits home to me. However, Shigeo is someone who is not content with settling for a version of himself that he dislikes. Mob Psycho 100 encourages you to find strength in your unhappiness and malcontent with yourself and push yourself to change however you see fit. True strength exists in having the willpower to be 
the person you want to be in the face of people saying that you can't. 